guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with my curator's collection, my new edition of my curator's collection um, kit. And we have been making this ring bound journal. So these are the pages that we have done so far. So we've kind of made quite a good start. So I just want to continue really. And in my last video where I was um, talking about this, I just showed very briefly that I'd made, um, you know, some ephemera that just needs to now be kind of put onto pages and things really. Um, so, yep, just picking the pages that I want to kind of, um, you know, what I want to put on what pages really. So, for instance, here I've got this um, triple pocket. So, I mean, that just looks gorgeous on that page, doesn't it? So, yeah, I think I'll do that. So, I'm just going to move this out of the way. So, these pages for this ring bound journal, they've just been literally made from using um, an A4 sheet from the kit, folded over and then glued glued down and stitched around on the edge so that's all I've done to form the base of those pages this is just again pages from the kit and I've just glued them together to form a pocket now I have not glued here if you can see it's a like open open pocket at the moment so when I glue this down of course I'd be gluing it like this it would oops oops this needs a bit more glue um, I think what happened, I trimmed that down after actually gluing it together. So, yeah, it's um, it needs a bit more glue. Um, basically, when you glue this down, you will then have, for this pocket, instead of having like a small pocket like that deep, you'd have going right down to the bottom if you've not glued the bottom here. I hope that makes sense. I uh, felt it wasn't even making sense in my ears, but... <laughs> Hopefully it maybe did make sense to you guys. So I'm going to round the corners of this um, pocket. I, you know, sometimes I round corners, sometimes I don't. But I think this would look pretty with the corners rounded. Um, do I want to round all the corners or just the bottom? Uh, oh, well, let's round them all. I'm only thinking let's round them all because I thought, well, actually, I might even have, um, you know, a ruffle or something at the bottom, in which case you won't even see those rounded corners so yeah probably best to to round them all so I'm just going to go around some of the edges here with some gold like that when I say some I clearly mean majority <laughs> so yep we've gone around the majority of them with some gold now I haven't gone across these with any gold obviously so what I could do now is just tuck in here and just you know do a bit of bit of gold there like that I mean they didn't have to could have just left it without without any gold it doesn't have to have it but yeah just for sort of continuity's sake I suppose um you know just add some gold like that so there we go okay so I mean that pocket's just scrumptious isn't it it looks absolutely lovely um then I know I did say before but I have made some clusters so we could have then a cluster on here so let's just see what cluster we could have on here I'll just tear this down get rid of those straight straight edges all right it just looks like it's about to pour with rain now it had actually been really nice this morning and um yeah, it's suddenly gone like it's going to pour with rain. So I hope it doesn't, because that would be a shame. But, you know, it does have that, that <laughs> I'm about to pour with rain look. It's gone really grey, which is such a shame. But hey, you know, sometimes I can't help but think, oh, brilliant. What a great excuse to just be in crafting. You know, you don't feel so guilty, do you? Because I'm filming this, this again, filming it on that Saturday. And... Um, yeah, you do feel slightly guilty, I find, you know, if it's a nice day, if you're in crafting, because you think, oh, I should really be out making the most of the weather. So, you know, yeah, naughty as it sounds, sometimes I do find myself thinking, oh, good, good, it's raining. You know, good. There's nothing else that we could be doing. I'll have no choice but to just stay in crafting. That's a bit what's going through my head now. I'm like, oh, well, you know, if I have to be in crafting, I have to be in crafting. Because otherwise, I think, you know, I mean, you have this, or, you know, sometimes I find I have this, oh, the weather's nice, I really should go out for a walk, you know, get some exercise, get some fresh air. 
Whereas when the weather's, um, you know, not so great, of course, then it's like, oh well, what can you do? What can you do? The weather's rubbish anyway. Might just as well stay, stay in and do, do some craft. Right, okay. Now, just going to cut this down. Like that, okay. Again, just like seeing where I might like some of these bits. Okay. Thinking maybe a wax seal on this pocket somewhere. Um, sorry, I'm just having a quick sip, a quick sip of my tea. Um, yeah, I'm thinking a wax seal or something would be nice on here. I've also got some ivory lace, so I just want to check that I wouldn't, wouldn't prefer the ivory on here. Maybe at the bottom. Cut a bit off. Mm. Oh dear. Oh, how pretty does that look? Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Do we like the black on here? I do love it myself. I don't think. Let me just lift this up slightly. Hold on. Um, or do we think kind of more colourless would be would be prettier? Also got the white ruffle, which I'm thinking. You know, should we have the white ruffle down the side? It's a bit too much, isn't it, that? Oh, I'm so sorry for keep on drinking my tea. I've been out with my son. Um, I'm filming this the same day that I filmed the last one. So, yeah, I've been out with him. We've had our Costa and, um, yeah, I'm now back crafting, obviously. And, um, yeah, it's been obviously ages since we've got back and, you know, took him down to get his car and all of that stuff. So, yeah, it was time actually for another drink, so... I mean, that's quite nice, actually, even on that side, to be honest. I mean, it really depends, I suppose, how I'm going to glue this down. The other thing is, of course, I could have a little flap like we did last time. So just checking if we were to do that. Um, yeah, would we have it? Let's just cut this down. That. Just trim this down here. Okay. Um, I mean, I was originally thinking I'd have it tucked into one of these, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, I forgot that this is white on the other side. That's annoying, isn't it? Mm, that is annoying. Let me just see if I've got some that's coloured. Oh, this is coloured. Uh, right. Actually, perhaps we'll have a side brace flap because on the last one, that was a, um, you know, down flap, wasn't it? So that would be a bit boring to have a down one as well, you know, again. Um, right, let's just have a look. Hmm. Would we have it? Oh, yeah, possibly going right the way across. So let's just fold this back now here. Like that. Now, obviously, it doesn't need to be that size. So I'm just going to snip this off. And then we've just got, you know, this little piece, which, again, I won't throw that away because we could make a cluster or something with it. So let's just round these corners. Just trim this down because I don't think I made a very straight, straight edge there. Okay, right. So if this were to go in here like that, and then 
lace. Yeah, I mean, I definitely like this ruffle here. And then this cluster here would maybe be this. And that looks quite lovely, doesn't it? Now, do we want any black lace is the question. Let's just see what would happen if we have it over there, you know, where we originally put it. So like underneath that pocket. That's quite nice, isn't it? Okay. Do we like it with the lace or without the lace, the black? Again, this is where I wish that I could hear you guys because, um, yeah, I um, I can't decide. It would be so lovely to be able to actually hear you guys and see what you think. Okay. So again, just like put some gold on this. You know, just then is tying everything in together, you know, and keeping everything looking, you know, not the same, but similar. Right, so again, just like we did on the last one that we had the flap, I'm going to glue this down in the first instance onto the side. So like that, okay. Let me just dab off now here. And of course I've dabbed that glue. Oops. Right, I have to be careful because I always end up gluing these down and then they get stuck down. So I must not do that. Okay. Right, just press that down. Don't have to hold it as long as I held the one in the last video because that was going over a fold, whereas this is going on the flat. So that will do. Right, and again, I have already done that. Doesn't take long, does it? Right, okay, so let's put this lace down here. Like that. Honestly, I just can't decide between the black or not the black. I love it with the black and I love it without. Which do I prefer? I think with. Yep, if in doubt, just always with, I think. <laughs> always more. Right, so we're going to have it like this. Now, what I might do is just glue the lace down to give it a helping hand to stick down in the first instance, just because where I've got the lace in two places, you know, I don't want to be having it lift. And I'm not sure whether my pocket is going to be in that way, if you see what I mean. In which case, this little side, actually the lace is not going to be glued. So yeah, it's going to obviously need helping, helping along its way. So just mop that up. Okay. Right, yes, love how that looks. Okay, right, so what I'm going to do is glue this round on three sides and have this glued down here. Now, just before I do that, I'm wondering, do we want to tie this together, um, you know, to keep it, you know, as the closure? Um, I just happen to have this embroidery thread sat here. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good colour-wise, isn't it? So, uh, let's just see. I do love having kind of tied up bits and bobs. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Don't know what's going on with me here. So, yep. Yeah, I did quite like that, I think. Um, unless I have a magnet, which I could. Um, well, do you know what? I'm going to do it like this, I think. And then, um, yeah, we could always change it for a magnet if then we decide a magnet would be better. But yeah, I think in the first instance, let's just go for this. Again, I'm going to just trim this down because it doesn't need to be quite so long. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to glue it on three sides. So take my hot glue.
And I know I say this all the time, I'm using the hot glue because it's quick and it's easy. And you know, when you're doing a video, that's what you want. It's just quick and easy. So as you know, it's glued down and you know, you're not gonna have to be worrying about it or anything like that. So, you know, but I mean, obviously if you weren't doing a video, you could use, you know, fabric tack or something like that. You might just have to sit and kind of press it for a few seconds. Um, you know, that's just what I'm trying to eliminate really, you know, whilst doing a video is that having to hold on to it for a few minutes. Right, then I'm going to have my little fabric ruffle across there. Now, I love to have a fabric ruffle at an angle like that. I just think it looks really pretty. So, yeah, let's just put that down here like that. Okay, whoops. Oh, I've missed the glue line completely. What is wrong with me? Oh. Right, okay. Like that. Yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't it? So then my string here obviously opens and yeah, quite like that. So where I was meaning I could have a magnet was I thought, you know, could have the magnet under here. And then obviously a magnet on here. Um, it would, however, you know, it would get in the way a little bit of the... Well, I could have it on the edge, I guess. Yeah, I could have it there. Let me just pull my magnets in. I did buy some magnets, the same as the ones that Andrea over at Art Maze uses. Um, and I said about them before and I had lost them at that moment. So yeah, I bought them, then they got kind of like lost in with my rubbish on the floor. Um, because they're very tiny. I mean, they are in this packet, but you know, the, the packet itself is um, not overly big. So yeah, they just got lost on the on the floor. Oh, I can barely see. One and two. All oh, these feel really strong. They are really strong magnets. Yeah. Yeah, I saw them on Andrea's channel absolutely ages ago and I ordered myself some and um, yeah, I've lost them ever since then. So pleased that I've now found them. Right, let's just see. So it would go here. Oh my goodness, what's happened to that? It would go here. And then the other one would be here. Wow, they are really strong. They are really strong. Right. Okay, well, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So, yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay. So, my cluster there. And then, oh, oops, what was going on there? Don't know what went on there. Must have, um, must have had two sheets together or something. I don't know. That was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know what happened, but yeah, I must have had two sheets or something stuck together. Right, then I'm going to have this one just dangling off at the edge. And again, I mean, that was just like a little scrap that was on the desk, so... Yeah, why not just have that there? So then I just want to obviously attach that magnet, just use a bit of hot glue. Okay. So, I mean, to be honest, you know, obviously now it's got the magnets, there's not really any need to have the string at all. But I mean, I guess the string looks pretty, doesn't it? So, you know, maybe just for an extra decorative feature could use the string but you know if you didn't like it you could obviously then take it off but yeah and how gorgeous does that look so very very pretty and um I was thinking about the thing in me bob wasn't I the um wax seal but yeah I don't think I'm going to have a wax seal now so now I'm wondering whether I could have a little button embellishment or something instead so let's just have a look 
and like I say all the time you know we've got all these hundreds and billions of things made and just never never quite the colour that we need or you know the, the one that we need do we that's just typical I mean that's quite cute but it's a bit lumpy bumpy um, just take that out oh do you know it does look nice though let's just go for that right okay so glue that down under there okay just all adding to the you know the decorativeness isn't it so yeah oh that is such a pretty page honestly love it love it love it and I know I said this in the last one but it's the first time I've ever used like bugs and things but because of the colours I don't feel like I'm using bugs it feels like I'm just using pretty stuff so yeah for me it's making the bugs a bit more accessible whereas like previously I've kind of shied away from bugs because they just don't feel pretty to me I know I'm sorry if you are a bug lover but you know um they're just not yeah just not something I'm kind of generally drawn to so but in the colors of this kit they feel very pretty so okay okie dokie right so the next page is this one that page came together really quickly didn't it so I've got a whole bunch of other ephemera pieces here can't remember now what other things I've got so I've got this one which is going to be like a belly band or or a pocket it's got a little slot pocket here so it could be a pocket down the bottom and it would be a pocket there and obviously a pocket here or it could be in the middle I quite like it at the bottom actually which of course then also frees up this space at the top to be able to have something else if I wanted. So I don't know whether it would look okay with something else or whether that would just look really strange, but let's just try it. I have got this, which again was another little one that I made. Oh, I feel like my son must be cooking soup. I feel like I can just suddenly smell soup from somewhere, which is weird because he's only just had his breakfast, but well, not only just actually, I probably a few hours ago now but I feel like it was recent-ish you know to now be now be having um, soup but you know boys I mean oh they just can eat anything can't they anything and everything you know and they do don't they 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 are constantly hungry and um, constantly wanting to eat things and they should make the most of it shouldn't they because that's not gonna last forever will come to a point where suddenly they can't eat everything yeah I think that's very nice I must say yep loving how that looks and then just see whether we want to have anything else I mean that's quite pretty over there in the corner isn't it yep okay so yeah that looks really pretty and again let's just bring in some lace and just Take that header piece off. Okay. Mm. Just see. Don't know, might not even have lace down the side in this one, I'm not sure. Might have it to this side. That looks rather pretty. Well, that does look rather pretty, yeah. And then I'm thinking maybe fabric ruffle at the bottom. Looks really nice again kind of just a, a bit of a curve um and then I wonder if I could have another one of those button embellishments just because these were sat on my desk and actually I thought oh I haven't used these for a while and to be honest you know it's easy to forget that we have these things isn't it and then um you know when you then try them it's like oh must try and remember these uh Right, let's cut this down. Like that, okay. Yeah, that's very pretty. And then I'm thinking maybe I might just cut out, um, you know, just cut a butterfly out and actually just have a flapping butterfly on here. Now, obviously, I've got tons of butterflies in the actual kit itself. 
but because I've already fussy cut those it seems like a bit of a waste to actually now cut them out from the frame if you know what I mean so yeah just being you know pathetic I'm thinking maybe I would just cut out another one so I've got these from my bright butterflies which this is the neutral page but I'm thinking actually some of these would go pretty well on this kit so yeah let's see which one we think would go well this one I think would go quite nice actually let's just have a look okay right so I'm loving this so I'm going to just glue this whoo, glue this one down okay ah oh, I forgot to ink that with the gold paint didn't I not ink it edge it edge it with the gold edge Oh well. Right, so I might edge this one with the gold edge. Must not forget to edge some of them at least. Okay, yeah, that one looks gorgeous like that. And then let's cut this butterfly out. Oh, I hope the video's okay. I feel like it's going really, really dark here, you know, because like I said, it's really seeming like it's about to rain. So I hope that it's not gone too dark for you to be able to see properly. I mean, it looks like it's okay from here, but yeah, it's definitely gone dark. You know, definitely gone rain, rain type dark, but hopefully, you know, not too dark that it's affecting the video too much. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to ink around, not ink. Why do I keep saying ink? That's so annoying. Uh, gold. I'm going to gold some of this. Yeah, I mean, that's not really proper English either, but you know what I mean. Just going to put some gold edging on some of these bits. So, yeah, really love how that looks. That's really super pretty. Okay, so I'm going to stick this black lace down on the side. Okay, like that. Oh gosh, I hope I've got that up the right way. I know I'm always talking about this, saying, oh, is there a right way and a wrong way of the ribbon, of the lace? It's so hard to see, honestly. I mean, you look and look. And there is, I mean, there is a, like a definite kind of bumpy side, but when you feel it, it often feels, to me anyway, <laughs> bumpy on both sides. So then it's like, oh, I don't know now. You know, not sure which is the right side and which isn't. Okay, right. Now, this is going to be underneath that other pocket. So I'm just going to kind of glue this one so it's much more glued down. Like that, okay. Then we're going to have this one over here like that. Now, wondering whether I might have this, this trim on here. We're going to have this one up here as a little... Oops, little pocket at the top. I know that's a little bit weird, just plonked in the middle of there, but I'm just gonna leave it there for a minute while we just decide. I mean, it's probably, probably too weird to have, isn't it? But yeah, just kind of thought, oh, well, it might look all right. We could have it like that. Oh, do you know, I'm just going to get this glued down. So, yeah, again, just going to hot glue this. And this is effectively just one of those slot pockets. We've made these in a mass make before. I've just made it on a bigger scale. So, you know, we've made these before smaller. And this one I've just made on a bigger scale. So, yeah. Okie dokie. And then this one I'm going to just pop up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that. Okay. 
Okay, looks nice, doesn't it? And then, all right, let's decide what else. What else, what else? I am wondering actually whether we could have had like some ruffly ribbon going along here. So yeah, I've got possibility of like the, you know, the fabric ruffle. Um, I've also got here, which I think this is quite a good color because it seems like the right color on those roses, doesn't it? Um, Yeah, I mean, I probably should have ruffled that on before, um, you know, gluing it on if I was going to do that. So, yeah, I've probably left that too late because it's not going to look brilliant if I glue it. Unless, right, I haven't ever done this before, but I'm going to give this a try. Oh, I hope it's um, not going to be a disaster. So what I'm going to do is try and just dab on blobs of glue every time I want the ruffle if you see what I mean and then what I'm going to do because this is obviously if you know of course like an organza you know see-through ribbon I'm going to pop a pearl everywhere that I've got a dab of glue so then hopefully that's going to disguise and cover up the glue so like that and then here like this. Okay, like that. And then just a little bit here. And then just a tiny bit here, and this will be the last one. Like that. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is just dovetail that off here. So I know I'm off camera, but to show you, show you what I've done. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is where I've got my dabs of glue, I mean, not that they look terrible, actually, they don't look, you know, they don't look unsightly or anything like that, but just to disguise them a little bit, I think what I'm going to do is just pop a little pearl everywhere where there's a dab of glue. So there will be one here. Yep. Oh. Sorry, flicking these around now. Oh, come on. Oh, this is uh, not good. Right, one there. Okay. And the next one. Oops, come on. Sorry about this. Right. Just, oh, come on. Sorry, I'm just dropping it everywhere. Hold on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm literally like all fingers and thumbs. Right. Pop that there. Like that. And then another one. Okay. And like I, you know, always say, I mean, these are self-adhesive, these pearls. I just always put a dot of glue on because I just, you know, I'm never well confident that, oh gosh, that's on the floor now, so um, I'm never confident that they're going to actually stay stuck down. So for me, you know, I'd prefer to double glue them than have them dropping off, you know, in a couple of weeks. So um, yeah, I'd, you know, I'd personally always recommend if, you know, even if they say they're adhesive, just, you know, double glue them just to make sure. Because, you know, just because they say they are, doesn't necessarily mean they are. Well, I mean, they are, but, you know, it doesn't, it's not advertising how long they're going to stay sticky, perhaps I should say. So, I mean, they definitely are adhesive, but, you know, how long is that sticky going to be strong for? So, that's that. How pretty does that look? It's a bit of a different edge there for that pocket, isn't it? So, yeah, I really like how that looks. Now, do we want to have the ruffle anywhere or have we kind of missed the boat now? You know, the opportunity might be gone now to have that ruffle. I mean, it could could have it there. Could still have it on that edge. Could have it here. Oh, I don't know. Might look just too much and just weird. 
Um, yeah, maybe that's just a bit too much. Uh, hmm. I mean, I quite like it there, weirdly enough. I know that's a bit strange. Except then we've got a bit of a T going on, which that's, you know, maybe a bit weird. Yeah, perhaps we should um, refrain from doing that. So I just want to possibly put that butterfly down, which where's the butterfly gone now? I know, you can probably all see it and it's just uh, escaping me completely. Oh no, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? The amount of times that I do this, honestly, and then, yeah, I'm asking you guys, where is it? And of course I can't hear you. Um, Oh, this is so annoying. Right, I'm going to cut myself another butterfly because, yeah, this is probably um, looking for a needle in a haystack much quicker to just cut another one out. So, yeah, let's just cut another one. Okay. I wonder if that dropped down in there. No. I wonder whether that butterfly had just dropped down, you see. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe something like that is quite pretty, isn't it? Or even up there. Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So, let's pop that down onto there. And then... Just see, just in case I might want some bling in the middle of the butterfly. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? Whoops. that oh how gorgeous does that look just picking off the hot glue threads that have um you know kind of spilling around um just see if i want any more diamond here anywhere i mean that's quite pretty up there so we could yeah just have another little little sort of run of the diamante up there How gorgeous does that look? <gasps> I love how that looks. Right, so what we've got on here is obviously we've got the little pocket up here. Oh, that's too big for that. Um, yeah, pocket up here, like that. And then we've got obviously a pocket here and then we've got also a pocket here. So lots of pockets going on on, on this page as well. So yeah, so we've done another couple of pockets here and um, yeah, it's coming along really, really well. So I hope that you like it so far and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.